Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope we're all keeping well. So, I think today is going to be very much starting to clear things up a little bit. Um, things like the um, last of the sweet pea seeds, they can all come off. Um, a few of the beds just need a little bit of um, de-weed in here. Um, and just getting things nice and tidy. So in October, if the weather's not that great, I don't have to spend hours down here tidying up. I can kind of just pop down here and do little bits at a time. How I got so lucky with the weather today, I don't know. Um, however, I um, was meant to be out all day today. So um, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. Now I've got some time back to just come down here and get a little, um, a little bit of the work done, should I say. So yeah, it's nice to be back if I'm honest. I haven't been here for, um, but properly for probably since the last video, to be honest with you. Um, I came down and grabbed a few bits out of the beds, but that was about it really. So yeah, it's nice to have about, two, I've got about two hours, an hour and a half, two hours, um, before I have to head back. But yeah, let's crack on. I've got my streamer with me. It's not too bad, but I might just try and get like um, the actual walkways at the sides done um, because I'm I'm getting a bit concerned that the, um, the rain is coming quite a lot now. So um, it's hard to find suitable occasions, should we say, um, when I can cut the grass. So every time I can do it, then I will. Um, I'm almost tempted as well to get a couple of carrot seeds in because the ones I've got in the bed down here seem to be doing all right still. So um, I'm wondering while I've got this whole area free, whether it's worth just putting some seeds in and if they grow, they grow. If they don't, they don't. Um, why not? Might as well. Because I really want to give it, because I'm not going to be here over the winter, um, I really want to give it a really good mulch this year. Maybe try and, there's a um, stable farm not far from uh, where I currently am. So. Um, it might be a good opportunity to to get there and see if they have any either going for free or going for sale. Um, it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? So, yeah, I feel like this year will be a really good opportunity to get a lot of good nutrients into the ground um, if I can. So, yeah, let's get on. The peas, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the seeds off, put them in a box. I can take them home um, and de-seed them at home this evening. That isn't an issue. And then I can just pull everything out of here. I have noticed as well, I've got some onions still left in there. So we'll see if they're any good. Um, they may have rotten. I don't know. But we can at least get all of these out um, and the poles out as well. Um, and then it will give me like a really good view of kind of how much space I've got um so when I'm not here over winter I can do some really good planning bits as well take some time and really make sure if it, I do have it next year that I utilize it as best as possible and I'll be able to um put what's it called down here as well manure or just something over winter So I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of the um, pods have actually started to like curl um, and all the seeds are missing. And that is what I'm sure is there's like a cracking noise when I'm here. Every now and again, it just pops. And I think it's where they've popped and then they curl. But yeah, I just find it really fascinating. Um, I don't think that there's any seeds in them. Um, oh, there's a few in a couple of them. That one is get rid of that one well take that one not get rid of it um but yeah and the ones that are like properly curled I don't think there's actually anything in them but yeah I'm just going to try and take as many as I can there are still as well some actual pea seeds on here um so I'm putting them in there as well and I'll just um like decipher the difference of them when I get home tonight I think <laughs> Thank you. 
what do we think guys so much do you know what it always looks like there's so much more room doesn't there when you um clear it all out but i'm pleased with that actually and um, what i'll do is just before when i start to cover everything up i'll make a nice much nice neater edge um and then cover it with cardboard and put like a i may even put a layer of mulch and then a layer of cardboard i don't know i need to look into it a little bit better but i've also just neatened all the edges for the trees because i might actually make this whole thing a a line of of trees we'll see we'll see how we're going to play it next year i still don't know yet so um whether i'll even be here so we'll see but let's not plan for the knots let's plan for the if it does because then i will at least be in a better position at the start of the season if it does um work out this way so yeah i feel like we're in a, a good good starting position for today next up because i'm hoping it's going to be a really quick easy job to do i just want to neaten out some of this um sunflowers because then i can get some of the heads that are finished off and start drying out a little bit um and I'm still getting some really good sunflowers on it. So hopefully, if I can take off all the dead ones, I may be able to keep the whole plant going for a little bit longer. Right, they're all off. So I'm going to take these home and dry them out. They were very, very bit. They were inedible basically last year. So I'm wondering whether they're just not the right um, like variety strain to be eating. However, when you put them in water, they bring out the most gorgeous, like violet, purpley colour. You can kind of see it on the actual sunflower itself. But I'm wondering whether I can actually use it as a dye for clothing. So I'm gonna take them home. I'm gonna see how we get on. I need to take all of these out actually before I take it home because it just causes a mess. Um, see what we can do. I'll put them into a pot, dry, like dry them out, put them in a pot. Um, and then maybe we can test out dyeing some fabrics. You can kind of see the color um, there. That's what the, it comes out like in water. So we'll see, we'll give it a go maybe. Okay, sunflowers are done. So we're gonna start on this bed um, and take all of them out. Um, I actually might just quickly just de-weed this one because I think it's gonna be a small one. I've had to take my um, jumper off because it is so warm. Um, I was absolutely sweating, but um, yeah, I might just quickly get some of the bindweed out of that. I wanna just keep on top of the bindweed um, because I've actually got parsnips growing now and Fingers crossed, we might get one or two for Christmas, which would be really nice. Um, but then, yeah, we'll start on this bed, just tidying it up a little bit, um, making it nice and neat. So I've actually got some peas on here um, that are coming up this year. But what I might do is, is actually leave them and just leave them to go to seed um, and just use them as, um, like, for next year kind of thing. Um, rather than because i actually haven't got that many on here so i'm gonna just leave them and then i can pick them next year uh, um pick them sorry for next year but what i want to do is just take out things like these big bits um a few of like the the little bits and bobs kind of around the edges just to try and make sure that i know kind of where the the edge of the um bed finishes up so i've just taken the strimmer and i've just turned it 180 and you can see I've just like cut in the beds a little bit and it makes quite a big difference. So I've weeded as much as I could, but now that I've cut the lining, I might just take these like little bits out, um, just rake it over a little bit, just so the grass doesn't quite sit on top. Sometimes it just makes it look a little bit neater. Um, and then yeah, I've just trimmed it down, it looks much better. So I've cut in this side and I'm just gonna do the same because the poly tunnel is gonna come down as soon as the tomatoes are done. So. The neater I can keep this, 
the more space I'll have to be able to take the polytunnel down. So yeah, let's get on with that quickly. Yeah, just makes a lot more of a difference, doesn't it really? This is all just grass, so I'm just going to cover this over with cardboard. But yeah, pleased with that. I've just come into the polytunnel, or whatever you want to call it now, to be honest. Um, and I don't think, I've, I've literally got one or two things. So that may, I don't even think I'll get anything else from there. I should get a few more from here, from this pepper. Um, I don't know about these, I don't think so. I've got a couple more tomatoes coming up, but literally a handful of them. A few more flowers on this one and a few more on here. But, oh, actually I've got a few more crystal lemons coming up. These are really nice actually. Um, I had one the other day and the gherkin lemons, can I just say, are perfect in a cocktail. A gin and tonic or um, a drink of choice is a tequila lime cordial and tonic um and the gherkin cucumbers go absolutely beautiful in one of them so definitely recommend growing one of those um i have got a few bits on here that do still look like they're coming up so um yeah but i think it might be time while the weather is still okay to start taking all of this down now um getting rid of as much bind weed as i can to be honest a lot has been um deterred i think this year i've been quite lucky um in a way i've been able to keep on top of it because of the wood chip um and the polytunnel but yeah i don't think i'm going to get anything else from it now so i think maybe it's time to start just taking all the, the big bits down um and then that way it won't be so much of a handful and i can start clearing the area um and figuring out what i'm start storing it kind of thing and figuring out what we're gonna do with it um i will definitely keep the cover obviously the actual frame is no use however i might be able to keep some of the bits that are still intact and maybe create like little mini versions um because like this one this semicircle is perfect it's absolutely fine the cover has one hole in it somewhere however it never seems to lose the heat which is really really good so i just think it's about keeping what i can get rid of getting rid of what i can and we should be okay but i think we're going to call it a day because as you can see it has cooled off quite a bit um i will take them off just for a minute i can't see you unfortunately i'm sorry but um yeah um I also just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone's lovely messages. I'm hoping I replied to everyone. I'm going to check when I go home tonight. But thank you so much for your lovely messages and your comments and likes and just everything from um, the last video. It's really appreciated. And yeah, I can't thank you all enough. Um, I've got no idea what the future holds, but we just got to keep going, don't we? <laughs> um, I always think if you can have a bad day for no reason, you can have a good day for no reason. I can't think who said it. I want to say it's a guy called Chris Williams then, or Williams. Um, but I'll see if I can find the clip. But yeah, if you can have a bad day for no reason, you can have a good day for no reason. So positive things. When you're more positive than life, you get to see more positive. Um, or more positive just becomes visible to you, doesn't it? So, yeah, but I just wanted to say thank you all so much. It's really lovely of you. Um, I'm just really grateful for the amazing subscribers I have. Um, I know sometimes we hear a lot of bad things on the internet, but actually what we've built here, I'm so grateful for. Um, but yeah, I'll stop getting stuffy now. Have a lovely rest of your week. I'm trying to think what the day is. Weekend and rest of the week. And I will see you all in the next video, which will most likely be quite a bit of a makeover. So yeah, take care guys. Bye.